and welcome to Storytime in Seacliff. And today our story is about a cat and the cat's name is Chester. Okay, let's go. Once upon a time, there was a mouse who lived in a house in the country. Then the mouse packed his bags and went on a trip very, very far away. We never saw him again. Oh, I don't know if you can tell, but when Chester is talking. It's in red. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, no. So I have a feeling he wasn't crazy about the mouse. So Chester moved in and made a few changes in his new place. The chair where the mouse had been is now Chester's chair. And those are the curtains that Chester likes to hang on. And uh, let's see what's over there. Oh, there used to be cheese. No more. Now there, there is a fish. <laughs> but guess what? The mouse returned home. Oh yes, did I mention he brought back a really big souvenir with teeth. Oh no, look, it is a dog. Oh wow, whoa. I don't think Chest is going to be happy about this. Back to the story. Once upon a time, there was a mouse and he lived. Chester, move out of the way. Oh no, the mouse wants Chester to move out of the way. So the mouse lived in the country and he ate only carrots, yes. Then Chester, Chester wrote a note begging the mouse to come back. I really wonder if that's true. Once upon a time, there was a dog named Chester. This is Chester telling his version of the story. And Chester was charming, handsome, did not like a mouse, envy of a mouse, smart, talented, did not like a mouse, and really handsome. Oh no, Chester lived in Chesterville and mice were not allowed. Oh. And it was a beautiful day. Hmm, I think this is gonna happen. How is this gonna end? Oh no, look, I think it began to rain because look at all of the drawing started to fade away. Oh no. Well, as I was saying, once upon a time, there was a mouse and he lived in a house in the country and he lived happily ever after there. Mm. <laughs> the end. Do you think that's the end of the story? I wonder. I'm not so sure about that. Oh, wow. No, no, no. Chester continues drawing. Keep out, he said. Keep out. This is Chester's side of the story. I knew there was more to this. Chester, that's enough. Stop the drawing. Does Chester stop the drawing? No, no, no. Chester, I'm warning you. Hand over the marker. Hand over the crayon. One, two, three. All right, Chester. Do you want your own story? Let's see. What's going to be the title of Chester's story? Once upon a time, there was a cat named Chester, and he lived in a house in the country. Chester was a very handsome cat, especially when he wore a pink hue. Oh, wow, a tutu. Oh, Chester looks fabulous in the tutu. Fabulous. That's the end of the story of Chester. What a crazy story that was. I don't know. Was Chester joking? Did Chester write this story? I think he might have. Well, I hope that Simon, our friend Simon, enjoyed the story. I think Simon likes cats. I think he does. Well, Simon and his sister Amelia, his dad Grant, and his, his mom Joanna, I'm sure had a great, great, great birthday. Uh, so we're singing, going to be singing a few days late, but we're going to be singing with a cake that Simon was very familiar with. Problem is, we don't know whether it's going to be chocolate or vanilla. All right, Simon, do you know what it's going to be? 
Mm, it depends on the votes, right? It depends on the votes. And let's see if the children voted. They certainly did. Molly and Alice and Jolene, chocolate all the way. Marblehead, James and Anna, and their cousins, Graham, Audrey, and Lila, all chocolate. Then in B, again, chocolate. <gasps> Bevy and Henry, Riley, Tate, Coco, Sophia, and India, all chocolate. Looks like a good chocolate day. <gasps> uh, Peggy, Angelica, and Eliza, also chocolate. And Julian, Julian also. All right, so for vanilla, we have Maxine, we have Lucy and Frida, we have Marlo and Hudson, we have Martha and Clara, we have Harris and Maya and Joseph and Teddy and Christopher, Rocky and Henry, Rafa, Scarlett and KJ. I think I see a chocolate winner. I see 19 chocolate and 15 vanilla. So Simon, my friend, it's a chocolate cake for you. All right, dear Simon, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Simon. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, Oberon. And remember, I love you all very, very much.